Howdy, howdy, this is Mr. Potter, and welcome to Wild True Learn. So this is a new game, came out last week on Steam. Uh, it's a nice game where you get to do um, some machine learning programming, and we're going to have a little bit of fun here. So we're going to go ahead and click New Game. I'm going to call our player Mr. Potter. Hello friend, glad to see you in our game. This is a tycoon game that will give you the opportunity to take the role of a machine learning specialist and develop a, from a rookie to a professional. It's in the development stage at the moment, but we wanted to show the game to you already. So this is on the early release on Steam. Uh, if you go to their Twitter, Wall True Game, you can learn a little bit more about the game. Um, so we have some tasks we're going to do, and later on we'll have the opportunity to uh, have some startups. We've got a mail though. So let's see what this first mail says. It says, good morning. We are running a big social survey in schools and we've encountered a problem. Student pupils often forget to mark which grade they are in questionnaires. Can you divide pupils from junior and high school using their test sheets? Uh, we need 100% accuracy. It should take about 35 seconds for the task and should get $300. So let's go ahead and accept the job. <clears throat> Deep news, non-neuro artificial intelligence. Mankind has always been trying to create an artificial intelligence before the invention of neural networks people used expert systems. Expert system is the deterministic algorithm which reproduces decisions of a real person in some cases. One of the examples of this is Eliza, the first chatbot in the world, created in 1966 and talked with patients using questions similar to a real psychotherapist, and it worked horribly. So let's go ahead and continue. So, I've got an output here that needs red squares and an output here that needs blue squares, and this is going to send based on that. And I've got an expert system here that will send red here, else here. So if I have an input coming in, red outputting here and else outputting here, let's try this out. This is red else divide, and it's slow. It takes a second for it to determine which one's correct. Luckily, we only had 20 of these squares to decide, and this is our time to go and estimated cost. So it says it should cost about $42. Keep in mind that we'll get $300 from our performance, so we can go ahead and release this. We're going to accept that. It costs $2 per second to rent the servers. And we can see the money ticking away down here. But it looks like we're getting 100% accuracy and we're getting the at least eight in each of these. Awesome. So $42 spent on the server, but $300 reward, so 258 bucks to us. And we've got another email. This one's from Spanish School at cat.meow. Errors in database. Hello, we have some errors in our questionnaires data. We can't solve the problem. Can you fix it? Okay. So it looks like here I want red and green to move on and blue to go into the trash. So if I, I can choose a color here. So what I can do is I can just say, hey, if it's blue, send it to the trash. Otherwise, send it here. Let's try that, see how that works. So this is without blue. Notice that all the blues seem to be going to our trash can, which is kind of what we want to happen. It's just taking a while to do it all. Eight, seven, six, Complete. Excellent. So it'll cost us about $56, but we're at a reward of $350, so that should be acceptable. So let's go ahead and release this. And I think we can adjust the speed by these little things down here, so things go a little bit quicker. As long as we're sure of what we want, it's okay to do this faster speed. We just need to, if we need to debug, we may want to slow it down. So $293 earned, and on to task two. 
Got our yellow warning sign here. Hello, it's us again. We found some new types of errors. It would be easier if you used the previous version of the code. We're gonna go ahead and accept this job. So now this is red else, but we have something here called custom nodes. So I can use programs that I've constructed before. Okay. At any time you can get back to the previous task and rewrite the program so I can optimize them for the current program. So this red else divide kind of is what we want. We just want red and then this should go to the trash can. So let's get the trash can out here. So reds will go here. Everything else will go into the bin of history. And it looks like it's doing what we want it to do. Excellent. So this will cost us $59, but we'll get $450 out of it. So we'll get some profit. And it looks good. Awesome. All right, $391 in. Hello, it's us again. We hope it's our last request for you. We've changed our database system. Can you update the code one last time? It must work faster. So if I want it to work faster, I'm gonna to have to do something else here with this decision tree color. This is red else divide. This is only red, the program we just wrote. But these are all taking one second. This allows us to do something a little bit faster. So keep in mind at the beginning, we saw that newspaper article about the expert system and that kind of uh, told us that it didn't work very well. So let's do red and green here. And we'll do another one here that's red and blue. And if right here, if I've got red will go this way, green will go this way, and I have no idea which way blue will go, but no green should go this way. And so if I've got red here and blue also going to the trash can, any blue that made it through will go to the trash can. Any blue that made it down the green way, I really don't care. But reds should pass through, and this should take six tenths of a second instead of the full second. So let's try that, see how that works. We're gonna do a test run. Notice how these go a little bit faster. I do have some blues coming through and that's okay. This will cost us $28, but we're getting $530 out of it. So let's go ahead and accept the risk. And it looks like it worked out wonderful. So that 0.3 seconds, even though we're using two of them, it's still less than the one second for the quote expert system. Illuminati Origins. Good day. I study ancient manuscripts and books in order to find the very beginnings and truth about Illuminati secret society. We need to find all the triangle figures in these documents to solve the puzzles. Can we do it using a program? Sure, why not? So I've got circles, squares, and triangles, and I want to get triangles out here, and I've got a sifter. Now, if I go to my custom nodes, none of those are dealing with shapes, so they're not going to help us here. So I want my input, and if it's a triangle, then we're going to pass it on. Notice this takes 1.25 seconds. I'm hoping we come up with a better system later. But I just need to get 17 of these triangles out of here. It's taking forever. It's just bleeding time up here. Notice this estimated cost is just going so high. That's because of this 1.25 seconds. But it's doing well. It'll be a cost of $106, but we'll still make a tidy profit out of it. So let's go ahead and release this. And we're good with that. And this should give us a custom node now that'll pull triangles out as we need them. So one can hope. It's just running so long on time. But we got it to work. Excellent. Now we've got a startup up here and we've got a private up here. Let me click on this private real quick. Mail from parents. Uh, remember what you said, but your birthday is coming soon. So take this money and buy yourself something tasty. We love you very much. We miss you. Please do not forget to put a hat on. It's very cold outside. Some extra money. That's not bad. Let's go ahead and take that. We're going to deal with the startups later on, but we've got some mails here. All right. So. 
KGB or bear.roar. Good morning, Tovarish. We know that someone from the USA created a system which can recognize the alphabet. You must create a copy of that system for KGB. The handwriting of US spies is awful. 40% and a $400 for 40. Ah, Rosenblatt Perception. First Perceptron machine neuron was invented by Frank Rosenblatt in 1957. Frank created the Mark I in 1960. The Mark I is a Perceptron machine that can recognize English letters by their shape. Excellent. Um, error 75%. My goodness, that is horrible. What happens if I just do this and pass you on circles, squares, and triangles? What does that do? Oh, the error is getting better on here. That's good. I was worried we were going to get stuck with that 75% error. And it's a success. Excellent. Now, it's taking 0.7 seconds. I imagine I can get a better percentage if I was to put some of these in series. You know, if I was to put, like, something over here and say, okay, really make sure that circles are coming this way, and that way I'm sure circles come through. But that's not really going to help me in this, so I'm just going to go ahead and reinstate that, and we'll go ahead and release that. Yeah, let's not show this next time. I know it's going to cost $2 per second for the servers. It looks like we're back up, back to 20% error, which is certainly acceptable. Notice we've got 40% errors here, so that looks good. $346 profit. All right, recapture company at cat.meow. We are aware that you're able to create a text recognition system based on the Rosenblatt Perceptron. We need a similar system. You must teach it to distinguish vowels from consonants. The task is simpler, but more accuracy is required. But I have a custom note here. So this sorter does what I want. Let's see, if I connect this over and say, okay, I want circles here, I want squares here, and triangles can be in either place, but I notice this needs to have 30 objects. This only needs to have 18. So I'm just going to redirect here. Let's see what that does. Okay, the accuracy is doing okay. Just staying above 80. Come on, just stay above. Good. So this gets us what we need done. It's going to cost us $82, but we're going to get $550 out of it. Um, I'm wondering, is there anything else we can do? This is the, the what we programmed basically in the beginning one. So this is just, a, this isn't really going to be anything useful in our custom nodes. We just need to keep in mind that. Looks like we're good. Awesome. Next project. Good afternoon. We've already bought Christmas trees for the holiday. Friends said that you can calculate when the peak demand for the goods will be. 18 seconds, 100%, $450. Right, darkest years of machine learning. Seymour Papert and Marvin Lee Minsky wrote a book called Perceptrons. In this book, they talk about math constraints of the first perceptrons, the XOR problem. The book had shifted the scientific interest and subsidies of the U.S. government organizations and slowed the machine learning for almost 30 years. The expanded version of the book was released in 1987, containing the chapters that disprove the statements from the critical remarks made since 1969. All right, so here I need to divide colors up. What do I have in my custom nodes? Nothing. Oh. Oh, because now I'm using the perceptrons. And these take three tenths of a second. I've done these before. So if I do something similar to what I did before, red and green, and then what I'll do here is I'll say blue and green. So I'll send this here. It's okay if anything goes in there, but I only want green to go down in the bottom. Let's see what this does. Complete. It's going to cost us about $25. We'll get $450 out of it. And the accuracy looks pretty good too. So let's go ahead and release that. Looks like we're building up a sizable little nest egg here. $425 added to that. 
Task eight. Hello, we write to you from the Science Center. Our current programs run very slowly. Can you parallelize our calculations? Sure I can. Oh, so I've got something new here. I've got this server here. So what I can do is I can have coming in to a server and then coming out, those two things will happen. Notice what happened though is now I've actually increased my cost. So if I do a test run, notice that they go out much faster. Still cost $20 though. I'm curious. Well, no, I need to have it going into two targets. Now, the next question I have though is, well, what if I do it a little bit faster? This is gonna cost $12 a second, but if I can get it to go faster, then we're good. Let's try that. That cost $84. And what happened when I had these going directly? $84 versus $20. Yeah, this is definitely cheaper to go. So this parallelizes things and we're good. Extra $430 in. All right, large parallel calculations. Hey, our parallelization system is broke after the last Doors OS upgrade. Can you fix it? It's a very big system. Be careful, 550 bucks at stake. All right, so here, since I have four different targets, I'm definitely gonna need to do that double parallel thing that I was doing before. So let's go ahead and uh, use that. Now, thing is, in my custom nodes, I've got the two parallel, but that's exactly the same as what I've got here. So that's not really going to help me. Let's do a test run. And that gets us $96, but we will earn $550. So that's good. Just takes so much money to run these parallel servers, a lot of them. But as long as we get paid for it, that's okay. All right, greetings. This is the only state provider of a small country. We have a very suboptimal code to track our people's activities. Unfortunately, we cannot allow you to change the code, but we have several new servers purchased on sale. Parallel the calculations. This will help our tyranny to prosper. Interesting. All right. So I need something that's red, but I can only use what they have here. So I've got my only red, and then I've got their only red. If I do parallels, it'll run faster. Interesting. So let's say I do that, just to bring those parallels in. And then I use only red for this, and this, and this. This is the only red that we wrote. I think it was our first program. I have no idea why I'm crossing the streams here, but why not? So I'm paralleling it so it runs faster because I'm worried I'm not going to get through this 200 squares in the 25 seconds they're asking. So let's try this. Notice only reds get shot through, and we're good. Cost us $147, but we're getting $750 out of it. Excellent. All right. Good morning. It's Yahoo Corp. The president of our partner company has been dismissed last month, so there's an election running right now. We need to know who will win the election to decide what to do with the relationship between our companies. Do it and you'll receive a payment. Cool. I like payments. All right. So I've got a server that I can do things with. If I do the same thing I did before, just make sure red goes here and red goes here. I've got only red fast, which is what I just made. So this should help us get through the data a little bit quicker. I just worry about that 18 seconds. But you know what? There are things we have control over. There are things we don't have control over. All right, let's do a test run. Looks good. Cost us $119 to get through that. We get a reward of $650. Let's go ahead and release that. 
Excellent. All right. So let's do one more of these. Automatic Movie Raider says, hello, this message is from the Osgar Committee. We want to replace some of our experts with the help of a neural network. Write a system that can rate the films by their type. Thanks. 100% at 19 seconds, $650. So red and green's here, red and blue's here. And again, I know that I can use the servers to make things run faster because I need to get through this, all these pictures. But I do need the reds and the greens and the blues and none of these deal with those. So let's go ahead and get a decision tree up here. So red and blue. And then we'll have another decision tree green and blue that'll be good and we'll have both of these blues go here actually is that what I want to do I think I want this to go here and these just to go straight in so if it's red then just dump it in there. Otherwise, if it's green or blue, bump it over here. And we're going to do that twice. So red and blue. That'll go here. Actually, no, that'll go here. This will go here. And then green and blue. We'll have those go there. So this will come in. And so that will be for these top two. I'll do the same thing for the bottom two. Let's try that out. So this will be the bottom one. This will be so red and blue. And if I get a red, if I get a blue, I'll just send it up here then green and blue. And if I get a green, I'll send it here. If I get a blue, I'll send it down here. So let's try that. It may not be perfect, but you know what? We're gonna, we're just gonna louse it up here. So red and blue. So I don't have consistency here. That should be green and blue. All right, what happens when we run this? Yeah, the top one was working good. The bottom one was not. And that's because the bottom one should be doing something slightly different. Oh, wait a minute. I did want that didn't I? Or did I? See, I've got greens coming in here, and I don't want greens coming in here, but the, the top one is good. All right, so here, this should be red in, blue should go here then green up, blue over. And here, red in, blue over, green and blue. Let's try that. Still have some greens going in here. Still this, hold on, let's slow this down. I just wanna see where the greens are coming from. So it should only be, hmm. Let me stack these like this, just so I can see where everything's going to. If I do a test run, just speed up to get it into the system. There's where greens are coming from. They're coming from these red paths. Stop that then. Okay, 
Okay, so this parallel thing is good, and these top two are doing well as well. So I've got red and blue, green and blue. Okay, over here I've got red and blue, green and blue. So it looks just like this, except here, these reds also include some greens. Green and blue, those go the right way. Here, red and blue, these reds contain some greens. Green and blue, all right, let's try that one. Speed them up, slow them down, just to make sure I'm not getting any extras over here I don't need. The problem is I'm not getting enough of these. Yeah. So let's see, if I have reds coming here, will that help? I'm wondering. No, that's sending greens down there. And I'm never going to get back to 100%. All right, so let's go ahead and stop this for today. We'll continue working on this in the future. Once again, this is Mr. Potter. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.